Imagine a future where we have solved many of the problems plaguing humanity today. Food and energy are issues of the past, and human beings have established orbital and lunar colonies. We here at IDGI have invented a satellite capable of transporting you to this not-so-distant future. Personnel on site reports finding no survivors aboard. Lights. 21. Much dead. better. Not Nothing so further, sorry to wake you, Bishop. Of death and we thought you should know about our little escort. And that's the latest from here in London. I'm Malcolm Thomas. We just met two hours ago. This isn't very funny, new guy. But you know, let's see where this goes. My name is Alana Boyle, code name Rook 25. I am your weapons and combat specialist. Do you know what your name is? I'm not going to answer that. What the hell is wrong with you? So let's get you suited up and ready to kick some homeless arse. Here are your basic consortium tools. You got your PCU, BUS and assault helmet, all specifically tailored to fit you nice and snug. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've never used this equipment before. The bloody BUS alone is so expensive, we're one of the only agencies in the world who use it. Think SSK, only with built-in hardpoint sockets. 
spider silk Kevlar. Uh, are you sure you're all right? Decay mentioned your final mission for your last outfit was a real mess. Nearly got yourself killed. Okay, now you're either screwing with me, or my brother really needs to take a look at you. Ah, uh, what? You are getting stranger by the minute. Are you speaking to someone else? What in the hell is going on and why are you making your voice sound like the king? You're... sorry? You know what? You're acting a little lopsided. Maybe you should go and see Rook 13 in the med bay. I'll tell him you may be coming. It's your choice whether or not to go, of course, but I think it's better to be safe, right? We don't want a banged up bishop on our hands. Now, Pawn 7 and I have some CCU maintenance to take care of in the lower crawl. Feel free to wander the ship and meet your new crew, or maybe hit up the virtual trainer and complete your bishop training scenario. The VT is at the end of the hall, next to the elevator. Oh, and don't forget to go and get your CMC from the K. You can find her in mission operations, at the end of the hall, to your right. Good afternoon, sleepyhead. Yes, Bishop? What can I do for you? Oh, I was just checking on something for Rook 9. He's a little concerned because we can't seem to track Angelov's location of transmit. Usually Zenlil can pinpoint where he's contacting us from, but not today. <laughs> Only the three. Rook 9's the ship's captain. Rook 25, your combat specialist, and Rook 13, the onboard doctor. You know Knight 15, of course, and the rest of us are pawns. Right now, there's about 10 of us on board, give or take. Everything. Most of them consist of every variety scientist you could imagine, and they monitor and investigate issues related to their particular field. And then there's some like myself, who are Wade slaves. Or engineers, if you like. We keep Zenlil going and all systems flowing. Anyway, if you don't mind, I have to go check in with Rook 9 now. Hey, and try to avoid Pawn 1 if you want to keep from screaming at someone on your first day. You startled me. I was only doing some maintenance? I don't know. Something that's been stuck in my head for a few days now. I must have heard it somewhere. Oh, you noticed that, did you? <laughs> Fine. We only have one official washroom to use, Bishop. One. And the lights in the washroom are currently broken, plus we often have up to 20 officers aboard at the same time. I am one of the smart ones coming down here. If you want, call it a pet peeve of mine. Now I should really get back to my duties. Bishop, try and have yourself a good first day. Bishop Six, welcome to the medical bay. This place is disastrous. I do apologize. Oh, come on, Kieran. Greet our new bishop. Bishop, it's nice to see you again.
Yes. It is a 32-inch Toshiba from 1995, one of the many televisions I've managed to acquire over the years. The best in my collection is a 3-inch General Electric Octagon from 1928. Notice he is actually proud of that fact? Fascinating. And how did you initiate transport? Some sort of device or vehicle? Maybe a phone booth? <laughs> Kieran, you realize he's only kidding around, right? Excellent. This rift to another dimension is thus created by your satellite, or does the satellite merely utilize something already present in space? Oh, can we please change the subject now? IDGI. I recognize that. Good choice. And it is interesting that there are 21 of these packets. I wonder why that is. Interdimensional games? You really remember them, Kieran? It was before my time, but they had that game, Anti-War. My father used to talk about it all the time. It was one of his favorites. So the connection is made on this end, through the King of the Consortium. I did not expect this turn of events. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. It's not fascinating, it's ridiculous. You're both ridiculous and crazy. No, Bishop, Alana was telling me you were acting strange earlier. Said you seemed a little mixed up. If you just step over here and lay down, we'll run a full body scan, just to be sure. This will just take a few seconds. Uh, don't be afraid, Bishop. It's perfectly harmless. I will only take as much time as necessary. How is that even possible? I'm not entirely sure. Bishop, you have more simultaneous synapses firing than what should be possible. It's as if there are two of you, housed within the same brain. No, it can't be. You weren't telling the... No. It would seem to fit, would it not? If he is from another dimension, inhabiting this body, then his brain scan theoretically makes sense. This must be some kind of prank. Whatever this is, I'd certainly like to run some more scans from our base in BC. Maybe after your induction ceremony. Now, we've got a lot more cleaning to do around here. Oh, <laughs> you mean you do? I will return to my command VR, if there is nothing else you need, Bishop. Good day, Bishop. It was really nice meeting you. Welcome to Mission Operations. First things first, here is your Consortium Mind Communicator. Please, just call it a CMC. Hearing Consortium Mind Communicator over and over just gives me a headache. Consortium officers only need to think what we'd like to say to each other, and the CMC will do the rest. Loud and clear. It'll take some time for you to get used to the feeling, but you'll get it. Well, yes, actually. After a short while, though, it becomes like second nature. I promise. Okay, well, Six, there, before you move on to something else, I wanted you to officially meet Rook Nine, Captain of Zenlil. Good day, B. Glad to have you here with us. And the name is actually Wade. Uh, just stick to Wade. Lay off the Rook 9 nonsense, eh? Uh, where do you think the pilot would be, mate? The CMC you just stuck in your ear can transmit as far as the bloody moon. We've tested it. Yeah, I have those days too. Don't worry though, mate. Kirill blusters a lot, but he's pretty much harmless.
Right, yeah. Wait, what did you say? Christ, Satan. They certainly don't make them any less crazy, do they? <laughs> I guess not. So hey, all kidding aside, give me just a few minutes to finish up this diagnostic, and then I'd like to get a look at you in person. For now, I want you to walk around a little and meet your new crew. Most of them are eager to meet you. Welcome to the introductory Consortium Bishop training scenario. I'm Rook25, and I'll be your guide for today. Your personal containment unit can store matter in energy form, and has built-in healing and repairing functions. It is also capable of transforming small, solid matter objects directly into utility energy. You see the floating pieces of junk around the platform? convert them directly. That mean looking robot is about to shoot you. That looked like it hurt. Use utility energy to power your medical nanite. The battle utility suit and assault helmet represent your basic combat protection gear. If you want to fix damage gear, either select a number slot in your HUD to auto-repair your armor over time, or select individual armor pieces to repair from your inventory. Consortium Energy Assault Rifle, or SEER, is your best non-lethal combat solution. Using its primary firing mode, the SEER projects a multi-target sonic pulse that can knock down nearly any unshielded enemy. After bringing your enemies down, get up close and stick them with nanites to incapacitate them indefinitely. Notice that you can inject multiple targets simultaneously. The Kinetic Assault Rifle, or CAR, is your alternate combat weapon choice. Nice work, Bishop. The Kinetic Assault Rifle, or CAR, comes equipped with lethal rounds capable of tearing bad guy shields. It is also equipped with consortium issue non-lethal shock grenades that can fire just about any type of grenade on the market.
Hey guys, I think I've got something here. I've been keeping a line open on our two fighter escorts outside, hoping they'd break the silence and speak to Angelov. Well, one of them just did. And, uh, well, you gotta hear this for yourselves. Tell me if you want me to patch the recording through your CMC. All right, B, here it comes. This is Operation Forerunner, calling for Angelov. Come in, Angelov. What do you want? I told you to be silent until the next phase. I know, sir, but but I'm having second thoughts about all of this. Uh, their plane is, well, it, it, it's very large, sir. And so the harder it will fall, yes? Remain where you are, or... Wait a minute. Is this line secure? Did you run this call through the program I told you to use? Oh, no, sir. I guess I did not. I'm sorry, sir. Just hold your position and wait till the next phase. And wait. If you're listening to this, and I know that you are, you can tell your knight that her new bishop is about to have a very bad day. All right, everyone. That puts us on high alert. I want you all prepared for whatever this next phase turns out to be. <laughs> yes, boss. But you won't catch me worrying. All right, V. I've unlocked my sanctum. A uh, cockpit. Come by and say hi. Yeah. Okay, Mum. Look, we need to say goodbye now. No, no, no. Don't, don't tell me to shut my mouth. It's not nice. No, no Mum. You need to rest. Yes, rest is good. We'll, we'll talk later tonight when you're feeling better. Yeah. A goodbye, Mum. Ah, <laughs> sorry about that, V. Welcome to the nerve center of everything, Zenlil. Uh, you see all those buttons and switches all over the place? I actually know what they do. Every one of them. <laughs> How's that for impressive? Yeah, it sure was. Second greatest love of my life. She's had Alzheimer's for a few years now. Yeah. I'll try and call her when I can. I'll visit whenever I'm back in Perth. <laughs> You've got it. I haven't had a flesh and blood partner since first taking this captain's chair. But I say who needs them? Am I right? Besides, I've always got me mum. <laughs> You'll be eating those words after enough years working for this outfit. Work is now officially your life. You may as well pick something to be your new girlfriend. Maybe your PCU? You could call her Linda. Ah, <laughs> good. That's my mum's name, and she likes the young ones. <sighs> if you say so. So, B, is there anything else you need? I've got something here I need to concentrate on. I appreciate the offer, but no, don't sweat it. The King and I have got everything under control. We'll find the bastard. And hey, welcome to the Consortium. Oh, now that's odd. Something just tripped security sensors on Bishop Bates' old bus locker. The keypad was accessed. Yeah. Hey, why not? Saves me the trip. I wouldn't be surprised to find it's just another glitch. Zen has been acting mighty strange today. Although, the bus locker itself is separate from the ship's primary systems right now. It's bloody well disconnected. Hmm. Well, if you're up for it, I'd appreciate the help. The cabin's right across from yours, you can't miss it. Go take a look, and I'll keep an eye out through your CMC. We can see through you as long as your CMC is jacked into your head. Didn't anyone tell you anything? Us rooks. And the boss. Yeah, everywhere you go. Except when you go to the bathroom, of course. There's an automated privacy setting. Lock down that cabin immediately. Way ahead of your boss. Is that Pawn 7? But I... I was just with him two minutes ago. What happened? Rook 13, will you please quietly get up there? And don't tell Pawn 24 anything. We need to contain this before the whole ship finds out. Yes, sir. On my way. 
And I'm sorry, Six, but I need you there. At least until Rook 13 can take a look. Good. Just until Rook 13 can determine it was an accident. I'm not about to believe someone committed murder on my ship. Okay, Wade. Let me in. My god. I just let him go on his lunch break. He was complaining about having skipped breakfast. I... I was only trying to be nice for once. Alana, you have nothing to blame yourself for. If there is someone to blame for this, then I trust he or she will come forward on their own. Wade, I am here. I just can't believe he's dead. I've been such a bitch to him lately. You are more often than not a bitch to everyone. Not only Pawn 7. You always know what to say. It looks as though someone threw his head against the locker panel, with enough force to nearly cave in his skull. This was absolutely no accident. Thank you, Kieran. <sighs> you are not going to like this, but I want you all to exit the room immediately. Nobody gets in or out, not until we reach Ireland. Are you kidding me? At least let us move him to the med containment unit. Here, Kieran, help me put him on the bed. My book. What was that, Kieran? Your book? Mind explaining what your book was doing under the dead body of one of my pawns? I cannot explain that to you because I do not know. I noticed it was missing from the medbay this morning. I simply assumed someone had borrowed it. I was apparently correct. It is plausible. But also highly unlikely. Remember where you two are. This is not some corrupt military. Now, Alana, I hear your concern, but we can't risk someone seeing you move his body to the med bay. I'm sorry, but forget about the containment unit for now. All of you, listen to me very carefully. This stays between us. I swear that we'll get to the truth when we land in Ireland and we can question everyone individually. I really don't think waiting is a good idea. Someone on board this plane just killed one of my people and I want to know who. If only so I can personally string him up and throw him in a brig. Thank you, Bishop. This is not a democracy. No matter what you two may think. Now, if you don't mind, get your asses out of that room. Yes, sir. This is so bloody insane. A murder on a C-3800. It can't be real. I'm going back in the car. As you can probably see, Angela's two fighters have just multiplied into two so, dozen. I hear you've got a new <laughs> Still not a my girl can handle. Six and Kieran. The bishop we have now is your chance your to meet concern. the great Bulgarian Let us stick nuisance. To you telling me the point he's on the holocom now, and he's acting. If you wish me to let well, you through my you airspace, you you will show me Bishop Six. Your airspace, and here he is now. You see, I'm not trying to play any games here. I'm only trying to prevent this from turning ugly. Again. Good. Good. This is very good. And how is Bishop Six? You are feeling strong, I hope. Ready for your first day? Oh, <laughs> you are funny. I think I'm going to like you. Enough posturing. Either tell me what you want, or get out of our way. <laughs> you have no idea what is happening here. Poor little girl. Your king must be blind. Did we not just go through this song and dance a month ago? And did your daddy not give you a good spanking for it? My father will not be coming to your rescue this time, knight. Come now, Kirill. It's Christmas. How about you let us pass, and we'll get into this another time. I promise. How does next Tuesday look for you? Mm, listen very carefully. 
You will land and surrender your warship immediately. If you do not, I will blow you out of the sky. You've got to be kidding me. Give me a minute to confer with my people. Clearly you do not understand. Comply now, or I will take Zenlil from you by force. A minute, Carol. That is not a request. One, will you please inform local authorities of our location? and to expect possible plane debris to follow. I'm already on it, sir. Can you see now why I've called you all here? Oh, yes. He's probably just blowing smoke. But there's an edge to him I've not seen before. I mean, he's usually hopped up on himself, but never has he outright threatened to kill us. It's no doubt his attempt at revenge for what Bishop Eight did. He appears to be rather unintelligent as well. Or is this an illusion? The subject of his intelligence is one of constant debate around here. Well, I think he's not only stupid, but also irrational and hot-headed. A nasty combination for someone in his position of power. It's very deceiving, though. The use of old planes to stay under the radar. His bravado. The love his men have for him. I think it's a very intelligent role he plays to feed his all-encompassing ego and get what he wants. You give him far too much credit. Thank you, Bishop. The K does have a point, though. All we can do is wait and see what he does next. Now, let's see if I can't deflate his bloated ego a little. Put him back on. Angelov is no longer transmitting. Wait a second. Sorry, boss, we got company. Huh. Looks like a... Well, it's a bloody boarding carrier. It's only a few hundred meters behind us. How did it get so close? I can't explain it. It just came out of nowhere. It's also emitting some kind of scrambler signal. I can't get a lock. What the hell is... I've detected two new incoming F-35s. One's a few kilometers behind the other. There's a... There's a gathering energy source of some kind coming from the lead fighter. He's seven kilometers off the port side now and he's closing fast. Five kilometers. If I could just bypass the carrier signal to regain targeting control. You better make it quick. Three kilometers. Wait, the Habitat 5124 incident. I think this is the same delivery system Stormboat reported. Wait. Chill, hold that boss. I've my mind on it. Um, we may have ourselves a problem. Auxiliary fuel reserves Just have a seat online. Over here and relax. Secondary turbine. Engage. Where's the second fighter, Wade? Talk to me! Uh, I can't see a bloody uh, thing, boss. Guys? Not a bloody thing! Guys? You may want to... Oh, shite! Get down! Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, right. Is everyone all right, Becky? Please, please hurry. We got two down in a room riddled with bullet holes. What the hell just happened? I haven't got an answer, Terry. I'm sorry. No bullet in existence can penetrate Zenlo's plating. It just doesn't make any sense. Just relax, Wade. We need you focused. Now, tell me about your girl. How badly is she hurt? Yes, sir. It looks like she's broken bloody back. We've got major shipwide failures. Our weapons, primary engines, cargo containment unit. They're all out. Okay, Wade. I want our primaries back online, and I'd also like to be able to shoot at the bad guys. Half an hour for primaries, 15 to 20 minutes for manual weapons. Just do the best you can, and do it fast. Yes, yes, I see. Six, be prepared to aid Rook-9 in defending this ship. All right. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. Now are you prepared to surrender, little girl? Drop the ridiculous act, for God's sake! This is not like you, Kirill. You just shot up two of my people with that little stunt. And if you think, even for a second, that you're going to get away with that, you have another thing coming. Tell me something. How does the cold hand of death feel as it takes its grip around your throat? I think I can stall him for a little bit, but we need a better plan than this. Have you completely lost your mind? If you destroy this vessel, you will only bring the full might of the Consortium down on you. I'd say it's pretty simple. We stall long enough to fix our guns, and then we flip his arse back to mercenary oblivion. Kirill's temper will never give us enough time. I have grown to enjoy your company. You 
were as a little sister. Let him to use me. the board and carry her. Was once an Excuse me. Brother. Say that again, However, Kieran. You let him use a carrier. Some incredibly when he boards, enemies. we simply separate the head from the snake. Action. And when only his men board us instead, Kieran has a point. To to be a if we pretend to surrender, whose worst Kieran might just fall for it. And I bet my life on him boarding himself. And go maniac that he is. small time, Angelov. All of this madness today is far beyond your threat level. I was going to ask the same question. Now is not the time. You can Remind me later and I'll tell you. Right, so we let him think he's one, and the rest shall fall into place. Are you perhaps attempting to anger me in the hopes that I will what? Make a mistake? You? Make a mistake? Like when you got hijacked running, what was it? Five tons of black market ex-gone materials from Lebanon to Baghdad? Those murderous Syrian and Iraqi mercenary groups chasing you? They sure didn't like you being in their airspace, did they? Hey now. That sort of sounds familiar, doesn't it? I will only put up with so much disrespect, Knight. <sighs> I'm sorry, Carol. Really. But you do have me in an extremely difficult position here. <laughs> and so we come full circle. To the point. You will inform your Rook-9 that he is to land Zenlil at the coordinates I have already given him. Run along now and do what you are told. But we don't have enough fuel to reach the coordinates you have given us. Your EMP killed our primaries, and I'm assuming that you will never let a refueling ship anywhere near us. If you'll only listen to me for two minutes, I think I have a solution. Do your crew a favor and stop speaking. Let the men talk. Bishop Six, may I speak to you for a moment? Just a little chat before your night forces me to shoot you down. A bishop with some kick? Very nice. I'm sure Alane is just clawing at your belt buckle by now. Is she not? Keep it up, Angelov. I'm gonna stump that grin into the back of your head. Angelov. Let you and I focus this on- This is no negotiation. And did I not just tell you to stop speaking? So, Bishop, all of this excitement on your first day, you must be feeling a little overwhelmed. Keep him talking, Six, and don't make him angry. You want me to cut to the chase? How about you tell your people about Bond Seven's untimely demise, hmm? It's not very consorting of you to lie to them, is it? You son of a bitch! What did he just say? What did you just say? <laughs> so you've not told your Bonds? Why don't you have someone take a look inside what was once Bishop Eight's cabin? Do not look to her for permission! Look at me! It's okay, Nineteen. I think I'll look myself. It'll only take a minute. You will not leave this room. You will call another bond to look, now, and put them on the loudspeaker. Patricia, come in, please. Is that you, 19? <laughs> Why are you calling me Patricia? We have a bit of a situation up here. <sighs> please don't ask me any questions. Can you just do me a huge favor and go look inside Bishop Hate's old cabin? Get back to me on this line ASAP and don't come to Mission Ops. Sure, of course. Give me just a few minutes. Wade, go ahead and unlock the cabin for her. It's done. All right, Carol. Now that you've stirred up even more trouble, let's get to it, shall we? What can we do to make you go away? Go away? But we were just getting started! Are you kidding me? Not yet, Bishop. Soon I will give you that chance, but not yet. Cameras, Bishop. Those who hired me have managed to install spy cameras and sound equipment within your vessel. I can see into every room. Tell me he's making that up. He is absolutely lying, boss. It is impossible.
You are smarter than you look. We both know it would be impossible to install such equipment on that vessel. Yet, instead of simply denying it, you played along. Interesting tactic. But it does not answer how I know about the dead pawn, does it? Keep it up, Six. You're doing great. Pawn 19. Come in. And here. Did you find anything? There's... There's... There's blood everywhere. His head is... I... I... You... You... I... I... Get it out already! He is dead. Pawn 7 is dead. My god. You people are like children. That is really not necessary. I will decide what is necessary. Now, Bishop, you impressed me before when you called my bluff. Impress me again and tell me. If not cameras, then how do I really know about Pond 7? Close. Very close. Not my spies. And you should focus on who these spies are. Maybe it's Rook 13. The unusual new doctor who came aboard only a month ago. Or Pond 4. The asinine Norwegian who worked with the dead Pawn. Or maybe Alana. My intelligence tells me that her and Pawn 7 have been less than friendly lately. Alana, save your breath. And Six, play along. See where this goes. Quite right. I do not. Someone aboard that vessel has been anonymously feeding me information since this morning. Now that is an absolute load of nonsense. But keep it up. I think he's starting to like you. Rook 13? He came on board almost immediately following Bishop 8's so-called retirement. I hear that Alana pushed the transfer through. Perhaps she is involved as well. Though, I doubt it. She thinks far too highly of herself. I really hope you're not listening to this. <laughs> you believe me then? Tell that to your knight here. She believes everything from my mouth is a lie. Enough! I have reached my limit, Angelov. I won't let you poison my crew any longer with your sputtering nonsense. You have a decision to make. You can destroy us, you can board us and try your hand against our bishop, or you can bloody well listen to what I have to say. What's it going to be? I was hoping I could make you this angry. Something about English women with authority in their voice. It makes me tingle all over. Make your decision! I am in a good mood. The bishop here has certainly amused me enough. Let me hear your proposal. Let us evacuate onto a mission pod. We'll happily leave the area and hand Zenwell over to you. What do you say? Mm. Under one condition. The bishop must stay on board and surrender to me. We have much to discuss, he and I. Are you serious? I am not about to hand you my bishop on a bloody platter. I could just tell my men to open fire on you right now. What do you say, bishop? Will you surrender peacefully to me? I will follow orders. You are like a little puppy biting at the heels of its master. So it seems, little knight, that we have ourselves a deal. I will give you five minutes to do as I say and evacuate all but the bishop. Five minutes, and I want you off that ship. Wait, will you please prepare mission part one? Set it for autopilot towards island, and we'll pick it up when we're done here. No problem, boss. Already standing by. Go ahead and load it with enough junk from the cargo containment unit to simulate our combined weight. That's a nice touch, sir. Very nice. It is. Meaning it cannot properly convert energy into functioning matter. This does not mean it cannot produce scrap metal.
The only way they can tell if someone is aboard the mission pod is based on its weight. If they know its original weight, at least. Which they probably do not. Tell me lockdown systems are up and running. They are. Good. Let's get everyone in here, then. All personnel Elana, show the bishop what we've got for him. Yes, sir. We do have ourselves an emergency weapons locker. In there, you'll find a couple weapons to choose from. You better hurry this up. They're positioning that carrier just behind our tail. Damn, he's impatient. Okay, launch mission pod one now. Mission pod one is away, and it looks like two of them are following it. That sound, ladies and gentlemen, is the sound of a water carrier tearing a hole through our hull. It's showtime. Just remember, Six, disarm and surrender to his men. When Kirill comes aboard to gloat, that is when you arm up and take him out. Attention everyone, attention. I suppose I should remind you all that there is nothing to worry about. We have a plan, and I can assure you that we have everything under control. I know this is an unusual situation, but Bishop Six is highly skilled, and I am confident he will repel this attack with ease. We'll be safely in Ireland before you know it. Surround him, but hold your fire. Kirill wants him alive. Sir, we have the bishop, and he appears to be surrendering. Excellent. Hold your position. I'm on my way. If he so much as sneezes in your direction, you know what to do. Yes, sir. on board. Bring the bishop to me immediately. Yes, sir. We are coming. Good boy. Now, now. There he is. Isn't this wonderful? We should not waste any more time, Kiro. Let us finish this before it's too late. In due time, my little underling. We have plenty of time. Now that we are, well, mostly alone, I wanted to speak with you, man to man. This whole ordeal has made me very curious about you. Go on. Who are you then? Just take out your damn rifle and end this now. Wait! Try and lead him into the brig. I have an idea. Interesting. Perhaps you will be more willing to speak with me in private. Excellent work. Get him alone and you'll have your chance. Follow me, then. The rest of you, stay where you are. So, out with it, then. What is the mystery behind this day? Who are you really, and who wants you dead? Okay, Wade. Guess the whole brig. Now! How are you doing this? You can't stop. Capturing Kira. He'll have some questions to answer when he wakes up. We kill them. The rest look about ready to clap themselves. Release the Atmo shielding and let them return to the boarding carrier. We've got what we wanted. Thank you, Wade. And don't worry, Six. It's only a little high-end sleeping guess. He'll wake up in the brig with nothing more than a headache. 
I need you to come back to mission operations. Right away. Alright people, I think we've only got a minute or two before our friends out there start playing not so nice. And our weapons? We're good to go on this end, boss. Let's see what the bishop can do. Before he heads for the guns, I've got an idea. Can you patch me into the F-35s? No problem. You're on. Pilots are threatening homeless mercenaries. I am Knight 15, commanding officer of the consortium vessel Zenlil. In an effort to seize control of this vessel, your leader has been captured by our bishop. In exchange for lenient jail time, Angelov is telling us your names, where you live, where your family members live, anything we want to know. If you do not wish to have an enemy in the consortium for the rest of your lives, disengage immediately. <laughs> that should do it. Wait, do me a favor and fire a couple of shots across a few of their bows. Give them a little scare. You've got it. A few already tacking off, boss. And listen to this. There's no hope here. Angela has betrayed us. They're not disabled and not too powerful. We must retreat. The rest not running off for home are beginning an attack patterns. It looks like we've got ourselves a good old-fashioned dogfight. Bishop, I need your other guns right away. You can access the manual weapon system through the command interface inside mission operations. Alright, so this is Zen's manual weapons control interface. Now let's get this thing done. Quick crash course before I let you at it. Your left control can lock and release non-lethal EMP tip missiles. A cursor, then press and hold to lock onto a target. Once a lock's been made, the missile will fire on its own and harmlessly swat your target from the sky. Your right control is Zen's point defense laser. It's most useful for destroying incoming missiles. And that bad boy can also obliterate fighters in an instant, killing the pilot. So try not to uh, take it there if it's absolutely necessary, yeah? I really don't think we'll be hearing from them anytime soon. Nice work, Six. I've rarely seen such efficiency on our weapons. Hey, I heard that. You are a physical extension of Zenlil, Wade, and so you don't really fall into the same category as Six here. I don't even consider Wade human. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Bloody nice hell, B. Nice Not even Bishop A could have done that without taking a single hit. And our newbie bishop here managed to do it on his first day. And six. Now that everyone knows, I want you to start an internal investigation into the murder of Pawn Seven. Just ask around a little, but don't push too hard. I'll be in Global Ops with my head in my own work. Hello, Bishop. Night 15 wants you asking around about Matt's so-called murder. Are you here to grill me? Well, yeah. Isn't that pretty much a given? I've been here the whole time, ever since I saw you by your cabin earlier. Pawn 7 was apparently killed after that. So it's a witch hunter after. You won't catch me playing that game. I really liked Matthew. And whoever did this will face legal justice once we reach Ireland. Oh, 
This is too much. I'm pretty sure it's getting worse. Well, if Have it you got is a virus, virus, and I think that it is, Yours, Kendra. Come and it's in. likely spreading its way through Zenla one system at a time. And the trouble with that is, Wade won't listen to me. Ponseven's killer? Please, we don't know what happened yet. And I refuse to believe anyone aboard this vessel is a killer. It's too much. One of us? Why not you? I'm not going to get into this so you can forget trying to pressure me. I won't budge. Anyway, if you don't mind, we've all got a lot to do around here, and I'm no exception. They're not gonna like you eavesdropping. Hello, Bishop. from reality and all. Must be nice in your head, yes? <laughs> oh yes, it is. Rainbows and unicorns, in fact. Nothing but rainbows and unicorns. If you're here to question my people, wait for them to finish. If you're here to question me, do it later. Question us? Come now, Bishop. There is really no need. It doesn't really matter, does it? Hold first, then you can chit chat until hell freezes over. Pas de problème. Hold first, chit chat later. I'm um, Bishop. We could really use some help around here with all of these repairs. Let me know when you have a minute. So, are you here to help or just wandering aimlessly? That's about right. It shouldn't take long. What do you say? Good. We can use the help. Go ahead and access the chip locker over there, by the brig. I've unlocked it for you, and you're going to need a stack of fresh data chips. And you too. I want this done by the time I get back. In other words, I want you out of here and back to work elsewhere. Roger that. Consider it done. Yes, well, now, what the heck does that mean? Oh, nothing. Another goddamn bug. Since you skillfully smashed those F-35s all over Bulgaria, the damage to Zen Lil is minimal and you won't need too many chips. Grab a bunch, then head up to Upper Avionics and the Upper Crawl. If you need more, you can always come back. Guess not.
So, while you're doing that, why don't you ask me about Poem 7? The K told you to question everyone. Oh, and why is that? In fact, of everyone, I should be most suspect. Nothing. No reason. That's the problem. Nobody has a reason. Pawn 7 got along, more or less, with everyone around here. I mean, my gods, he still lived with his parents and blushed whenever someone cursed around him. I can tell you that if I didn't let him break for lunch, he'd still be alive right now. I can also tell you that once I find them, whoever is responsible will never see daylight again. Pawn 7 was a good kid. A bit of a pain in the arse sometimes, but most of these kids are. Other than whoever killed him, yes, I am. I told you before that I was working with him in the lower crawl. He was gone less than half an hour before the alarms went off. Needless to say, it, he's aiding me up a little. It's not my job to get along with anyone on this plane. Pawn 7 and I disagreed on many things and that I will take to the grave with regret. I certainly could have been nicer to him. My treatment of Pawn 4, which admittedly isn't very good, is what he was pissing on about. Ah, uh, speaking to me about in the crawl. It's actually what we were fighting over. Can you believe that? He was defending Pawn Bloody 4, the newest and soon to be dismissed member of the consortium Pawn team. Ha! Ah, have you spoken a word to him? Uh, okay, you're right. You're right. Be nice, Alana. It's possible, yeah, but what was happening? Was somebody contacting Angelov in there? Or contacting someone else? Oh, it's bloody frustrating having no answers to so many questions. Ancestors Endless Drink. It's a Guardian Church produced collection of pleasant stories. It's propaganda aimed to make them seem like their headway meetings actually heal people. I mean, hey, people can do whatever they please, but I'll stick to my heathenry. Thank you very much. The short answer is that it relates to their recently uncovered Prophecy of the Ancestors. Look it up on the info console if you want, but it's really just a load of nonsense. Excuse me. His involvement. First of all, his name, as far as you're concerned, is Rook 13. Secondly, how I feel towards my brother's religious takings and the choices he's made is none of your gods be damned business. And with that, I'll leave you to it. I'm sure you don't need me talking in your head all day. Oh, hey, I just noticed you finished the job while we were talking. Thanks, Bishop. It was a tough job, but it looks like you pulled it off. <laughs>